you get back with this new team and get back into the league, what do you hope to see from this shortened season from yourself? Yeah, just uh, confidence, just going in with a new mindset. My last three years, especially last year, I, my confidence was just, it was just to the floor. I just, and then I had to constantly remind myself this whole quarantine while I was here in Bakersfield that I'm a great player. It's just all about opportunity. And so um, that's what I look to get out of this, just to play and to have fun. I don't think I was having fun for a little while. I was in my last year in the league. And so just to play and have fun, not worry about any mistakes, um, just go ball out because this is what I love to do. Basketball is in my blood, as you can see, with my sister, my dad, and my brother. So I just want to have fun um, and really just embrace this experience. Because I know you mentioned you were playing um, playing hoops with your, your brother and your dad. So how did that kind of maybe re-energize is your love for the game and how do you feel like it it will all be re-energized once you hit a court for real i think just playing with my dad and my brother it took me back to when i first started playing ball when me and my brother used to play in the backyards uh, in our backyard together um and that's when i really started to fall in love with ball probably when i was about eight or nine um when we just play all the time and back then we you know we had the court low and i was dunking on him and then you know, flip it this year when i started playing against him he's taller than me he's dunking on me <laughs> So that was a little frustrating, but overall it just brought back my love for the game. It's in the blood and obviously your roots are in Bakersfield. So you had a great career at Ridgeview High School, then you went on to Stanford. And I just want to know all the all the memories that you've had and of again just even playing for uh the nation and then playing overseas. What are one of the few like accolades or most memorable moments from your basketball career that you kind of hold on to throughout this whole wide journey that you've been on? Going to the final four my senior year, that's that was an incredible moment. I had the game winning block. Uh, that's like a, a moment that I'll remember for the rest of my life. I'll never forget when um, I missed these these two free throws and for I was playing for USA basketball. I had played USA basketball for several years before. I think it's my fourth year playing. I didn't really get much playing time. This fourth year I was like one of the leaders on the court and I just had to make one free throw to win the game. Uh, I'll never forget I missed both and we had to go into um, into double overtime. Uh, and we ended up winning the game, but I'll never forget like that moment. Like that was my moment to be the hero and I missed that opportunity and I will never forget that. How humble of you. One of your memories is something that you not aren't necessarily proud of, but I'm sure you learn from. Oh yeah. So what do you take away from those moments that are maybe your, your career lows, let's say, or a moment that you aren't too proud of? What do you take from that to kind of spin it? and learn something from it and move on from it. So it's just constantly taking from what you what you learned from the experiences, pulling from the bad and taking all the good that you can take out of it and just moving on and just using it as strength, using it as, as wisdom for you to move on in future things in life because ultimately it's just gonna make you stronger and more knowledgeable in life to come. Where did the nickname Bird come from? What does yeah. that mean to you and where did that come from? Uh, I always like to have people guess first because I just love to hear the different responses. So do you have any guesses as to why they call me Bird? You're tall, is it anything to do with Big Bird? <laughs> I get that one sometimes. <laughs> when I was back at Stanford my freshman year, there's two Ericas. Yeah. And so Chanea Bumuke, uh, I don't know if you know, she's a WMA player and, and an ESPN announcer. She, um, she was like, oh, we call you Bird. And I was like, why? She's like, McCall. Like, your last name sounds like a... Didn't even think of that one. But most people don't. Most people think like, so you fly like a bird or you jump really high. I get a lot of different ones. I love Is it. Is it okay if I start calling your dad Bird when I see him? Because he's a McCall too? <laughs> you know what? He might like that. He calls I'll me call Bird. Call him Big Bird. Call him Big Bird, please. <laughs>